Okay, so what's actually going on here is that I've got some wind chimes here um, and I've got some dry ice and what happens is that when the wind chimes touch the dry ice, the chimes vibrate and they make a sound. You're probably wondering why I chose to use dry ice. Um, th the reason is because of its material properties. So with normal ice, when it melts, it turns into a liquid, which would be water. Um, but the way that dry ice is different is it's actually made of solid CO2. And instead of melting into a liquid, um, it sublimates instead. So it goes straight from a solid to a gas. So what's happening is that each time a note is pressed down, um, a little puff of gas is released from the dry ice and this lifts up the chime a bit um, and then it falls back down due to gravity and then hits the dry ice and makes a sound um, but then because it's in contact it releases a bit more gas, gets lifted up again and this just happens over and over again um, many many times a second um, so the overall effect is a bit like a drum roll sort of going. 